What do we make of this guy we call Jesus? The Apostles' Creed says, I believe in God the Father. Okay, I'm, I'm with you on that. Uh, we believe in the, the God of the Old Testament, as our Jewish sisters and brothers do, as, our, uh, as those who are uh, of the Muslim faith believe in that. Uh, they see things a little differently, but we, we look to uh, Father Abraham as, our, uh, as the one father of us all, human father, and God the Father as the one who called Abraham out of Ur and into a promised land. We can agree on some things about God the Father, but what do we say about Jesus? A lot of, it, a lot of things have been said about Jesus, but the Apostles' Creed makes it clear. We believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. Now, there's a couple of points worth making here. The Apostles' Creed doesn't come right out and say Jesus is God, but it does declare Jesus to be his only Son, his only Son. Think to, uh, to John 3.16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son. There's no, no question there that we're raising, uh, raising up Jesus as the begotten son, the anointed one, the Messiah sent from God. We refer to Jesus, of course, as the son of God. And sometimes we refer to ourselves as children of God. And a son is certainly a child, but let's not confuse them. Uh, to say Jesus is the son of God is to say, suggest, to declare, to affirm it, as we affirm our faith using the Apostles' Creed. It's to affirm that Jesus is fully human and fully divine. The Nicene Creed gets into this in even greater detail, but and we'll get to what it means for Jesus Christ to be Lord and, and who Jesus is. Be patient, bear with us, keep tuning in every day. But when we say Jesus Christ, uh, we believe in Jesus Christ and, and we affirm that he is God's son, that uh, you and I may be children of God. I hope you and I are children of God, but we're children by adoption. Jesus is the incarnation, the son of God, God made known in the flesh through, of course, the Christmas experience where we celebrate that incarnation. But Jesus is the Son of God. I believe in Jesus Christ, Son of God. I believe that Jesus Christ is Lord, Lord of all. Now, remember again, in the early days, in the days when the Apostles' Creed was written, all folks in the Roman uh, Empire were required to declare that, that Caesar is Lord. And so to declare that anyone else is Lord was, was not only a, a radical faith statement, it was a bold statement in which one might put their very freedom or life in jeopardy. So when we say uh, the Apostles' Creed, I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. We're declaring that Jesus is that Son of God, fully human, fully divine. We're declaring that Jesus is Lord, Lord of your life, if you choose to let him be, Lord of mine, and Lord of all the earth. As we sing uh, at the Christmas season, King of kings and Lord of lords, we give thanks to God for this affirmation of faith, the Apostles' Creed, which reminds us that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, and Lord of our lives. Friends, thanks for tuning in today, and may God be with you till we meet again.